Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing the new ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. Now this foundation stick can be found in 30 different shades. I grabbed the shade Medium 90W to try out today and you get 0.34 fluid ounces worth of product, which is not a whole lot of product, but typical for um, stick foundations. They usually don't have much product in them because typically you don't need as much in order to, you know, apply it onto the entire face. So this foundation stick is going to provide medium buildable coverage and it also is supposed to help blur out any of your pores, which is why I'm not going to apply any kind of primer underneath. Typically, if I do use a primer, it's a pore filling primer just to try to get my foundation to apply a lot more evenly, especially here. But since this is supposed to do that for us, I'm not going to need to use anything underneath. This is also meant to cover up any blemishes. It's supposed to glide on smooth blend out effortlessly and give you a skin like finish. It also claims to not be cakey or drying so we'll see how it applies and what it feels like. As far as the application tips you're supposed to be able to just glide this on directly onto the skin on top of either their all-star primer which I'm not using and or a moisturizer. So I have already moisturized my face so it's ready to go. You can then blend this out with a brush or a sponge of your choice. I'm going to be using my 3D HD blend I just have to I have to wet it. It's not damp right now. It's completely dry Which is why it looks so tiny. You can also highlight and contour with this Of course if you're trying to highlight you're going to go one to two shades lighter If you're trying to contour you're going to go one to two shades deeper than your complexion The last thing that the website recommends is that you set it with their no filter loose powder or their no filter sheer match press powder So I'm going to be setting it with the no filter loose powder powder um, just lightly since it does state that you should I'm going to follow directions okay so let's get started I'm going to start off with this side before zooming you all in so that you can see the before and after I hope that I got a good shade match let's see we're just gonna apply a few swipes and then blend it out like I said using my damp now damp 3D HD blender. Okay, so I think I matched myself pretty well and it's blending out really nicely. And it's definitely providing medium coverage. So this is not a full coverage foundation stick. However, it does state that you can build it up so it is buildable so I'm, I am going to try to build it up just a little bit right here to see what kind of coverage we get okay so with just the one layer of foundation I really love what it's done it still looks like skin everything looks nice and even now though so I, I like it I like the way that it looks Especially when you compare it to this side, you can see the difference and I like how natural it looks. So now I'm going to zoom you all in so that you can look at the before and after. Okay, so this is what my skin looks like before I apply anything onto it. And this is what it looks like with the one layer of foundation. Okay, now let's work on the rest of the face. Alright, so this looks really good. I like the coverage that I am getting from this. I am going to try to build up coverage here and here though, just to see um, how it builds up, what kind of coverage I get after I build it up. Just one additional layer, see what we get here. So I'm just building it up very, very little. Not going too heavy with it, but I do want to see how it blends and how it and how it looks with an additional layer on top. All right, I like what it looks like. I don't like how it feels right now because it just doesn't feel like it. I don't know what kind of finish this is supposed to have. It doesn't really talk about that anywhere. Um, it just states that it's going to leave you with a natural skin like finish. So it doesn't talk about whether or not it's matte, whether or not it's like a cream to powder, whether or not it's going to stay feeling more like a cream than a powder, 
or whatnot. It's just, it feels sticky. So I know that I am definitely going to set it. Now it makes sense why they would suggest that you set it because yeah, if it stays feeling like this, I cannot, I'm not going to be able to blend anything out on top of it. Okay, so now I'm just going to jump off camera really quickly in order to finish off the rest of my makeup. I am going to be setting this foundation with their loose powder. Um, hopefully this feeling goes away because I don't like it. Um, but yeah, the powder should definitely help with that. So I will be right back in just a second. All right, so now I am back with a full face of makeup and I really love the foundation. After I set it, it felt really, really comfortable on the skin, it didn't feel overly dry, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel cakey, and it's giving me wonderful coverage. So that is what I have going on as of this morning. It is currently at 10.51 in the morning. I do plan on wearing this for an entire eight hour day, perhaps even longer, and I do plan on coming back halfway through the day in order to check in with you all, talk to you all a little bit about how the foundation has been wearing up to that point, and also show you all some midday close-ups. So I will see you all back here in a few hours for my midday check-in. Okay, so now I am back for my midday check-in. It is currently 3.15 in the afternoon. So I've had this foundation on now for a good solid four hours. A couple of things that I forgot to mention earlier that I just realized I forgot to mention are the price. This foundation stick retails for 10 US dollars, which is incredible incredibly inexpensive. I love that fact. And two, it is also vegan and cruelty free. So just in case you're wondering price point, whether or not it's vegan or cruelty free, it's both and the price is really good. So now on to my midday check-in. It is looking really good. I really love the way that this foundation is wearing. Um, it is. It feels really, really light on the skin. I really don't feel like I have foundation on or much um, of anything on. It is keeping me matte. I tend to get oily here along the T-zone. I am normal everywhere else. However, I don't really see any oiliness along the forehead area at all. You are going to see here um, some like dewiness right here, but that's highlight that I have applied along the bridge of my nose. But right here, I don't see anything. It's not breaking up. It's not settling into my fine lines right here. That's one thing that I always look for, especially with stick foundations, just because I feel like they're a little bit more on the creamy side, which does tend to settle into my fine lines, my smile lines right here. However, this one is not doing that whatsoever, and it's not accentuating my lines here either. So double plus, I like it right now. Now I'm going to zoom y'all in so that you can get a better look at the foundation on my skin after four hours of wear. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like on the right cheek. As you can see, it's not really covering up that blemish right there, but I typically would use concealer for that. I wouldn't rely on just my foundation. I really don't care though, so that guy can stay there. It's not a big deal. And this is what the right side currently looks like. As I mentioned earlier, it is not settling in to my fine lines right here, which I appreciate greatly. And as you can see, my forehead is still pretty shine free. So that is all for my midday check-in. I do plan on finishing off my day at around seven o'clock tonight, just simply because tomorrow is a school day, so I've got to get to bed early. So seven o'clock, I will see you all back here at the end of the night for my final thoughts on this new ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. Okay, so now I am back for my final check-in. It is currently 7.09, so I've had this foundation on now for a good solid eight hours. Now, before I get into my overall opinion of this new foundation, I am going to zoom y'all in one last time so that you can get a better look at my skin with the foundation after eight hours of wear. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the forehead, and as you can see, I don't have any or practically any shininess on the forehead, which is quite surprising because I do tend to get oily, um, but this foundation did not make me oily whatsoever. This is what the left side of my face currently looks like. It hasn't really changed at all from my midday check-in or from this morning, really. And I have the same situation over here on the right. 
And aside from that, I don't see it settling into my um, laugh lines or my smile lines at all. So there you have it. That is what my skin currently looks like with the foundation after an entire day. I really like this foundation stick. I, I, I really like the way that it wore. It did not make me oily. It did not settle into any of my fine lines. It did not break up. It did not wear off. It stayed put and it gave me beautiful medium coverage. Although I did build it up here. So right here, I would consider it more full once you build it up. It does build up nicely. So you don't disturb any of the foundation underneath. It builds up on top of itself really, really nicely. So you don't have to worry about that. And yeah, I really like it. Aside from that, I don't really, I don't really think that it did much like for my pores. I don't really feel like it blurred them um, completely, you know, I can still see them right here. So perhaps next time that I use it, I will apply a primer, a pore filling primer underneath it. Overall, this is a great foundation stick and for only $10, like you just, you can't beat the price. You can't beat the price for the way that it wears. It's just, it's good. It's amazing. So that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future product reviews, makeup tutorials, anything beauty related. And also don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media platforms where I absolutely love to interact with you all. I'm all beauty by Sarah with an H on Instagram and all beauty by Sarah without the H on Snapchat and Twitter. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Oh,